Good morning, sweetheart. Don't good morning me. Where were you last night? Stan took me to see a Punch and Judy show. I'm getting sick and tired of this. It's Stan here, Stan there. Stan wants me to go here, Stan wants me to go there. I tell you, it's beginning to get on my nerves. Why, you ought to be ashamed to even be seen on the street with him. Well, I tell you, I understand. Well, why don't you answer the telephone? All right. Oh, Hello? That you, Ollie? Yes? Say, listen, I just got a couple of tickets for tonight for the Cement Workers Bazaar. Can you come along? We might win a prize. They're going to give away a steam shovel. Yes, Mr. Jones. Thank you very much, Mr. Jones. I certainly appreciate it. Goodbye, Mr. Jones. Well, who was that? That was Mr. Jones, my new boss. Oh. He's having a big business meeting tonight, and he wants me to attend. Oliver. All of the out-of-town boys are going to be there. Big, influential men. <gasps> Just the kind of men that you want me to associate with. Oh, at last you're beginning to get someplace. It'll do me a lot of good. Why, naturally. It'll have a tendency to promote me to higher endeavors. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello? Hey, Ollie, this is me. Oh, hello, Mr. Jones. Oh, don't you worry. I'm quite sure it'll be all right. Goodbye, Mr. Jones. <laughs> Come in. What do you want? I just came to tell Ollie that was me on the phone. Mr. Jones! Well, huh? now, if you'll just wait. Oh, oh, now wait, honey, darling, now wait. Mr. Jones! Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, wait, oh. Yes, wait, oh. wait, 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 Did you ask her about going out tonight? What'd she say? You heard what she said. Well, what's the matter with her anyway? Oh, I don't know. She says that I think more of you than I do of her. Well, you do, don't you? Well, we won't go into that. You know what the whole trouble is? What? What you need is a baby in your house. Well, what's that got to do with it? Well, if you, if you had a baby and you, it would keep your wife's mind occupied and you could go out nights with me and she'd never think anything about it. All your troubles would be over. Wouldn't think a thing about it. You know, I think that's a pretty good idea. You bet your life it's a good idea. You know, it's a well-known fact that all the happiness in a home, when you have a baby and, and, and there's a wife and you and the baby, it's a well-known fact. I know, I've read about that. 
I'm beginning to think that you're right. You bet your life I'm right. You know, I'm not as dumb as you look. You bet your life you're not. Anybody that could think. What do you mean you are not as dumb as I look? Well, uh, you just... Come on. Where are you going? We're going to adopt a baby. What for? Come on. What for? Yes. Thanks. Uh, what's the occasion? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Here, you hold the baby while I go in and break the news. Careful now. Won't she be surprised? Arabella. You. What's the matter? She's not here. Where'd she go? No, oh, I suppose she went. How do I know where she is? Come in. You, Mr. Hardy? Yes, sir. Little present for you. What's this? Your wife is suing you for divorce. Gee, that's tough. Your name, Laurel? Yes, ma'am. Sir? This is tougher. What's this? You're being sued for the alienation of Mr. Hardy's affections. And she'll take you hook, line, and sinker. Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. Father and mother's name Laurel? Sure, why? Did you ever have any relatives? Where were you born? I don't know. Fancy not knowing where you were born. Well, I was too young to remember. How do I know where I was born? Didn't you once tell me that you had an uncle? Sure, I've got an uncle. Why? Now we're getting someplace. Is he living? No. He fell through a trapdoor and broke his neck. 
Was he building a house? No, they were hanging him. Poor old Unc. Here, read that. Three million dollars. Is that as much as a thousand? Why, man alive, it's twice as much. Gee whiz. And is that all mine? If I can convince them that you are the heir, we'll be living in luxury the rest of our lives. Now, you just leave everything to me. Come on. you're going to read the will. Sorry to disappoint you, old dear, but there ain't going to be no reading of no will. Well, what are we here for? I'll tell you what you're here for. You're here because Ebenezer Laurel didn't die a natural death. He was murdered! <laughs> Take care of her, Boyd. Maybe it is, and maybe it ain't. But you're gonna stay right here in this house until somebody cracks. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, officer, but I think I'll be going. I have a couple of tickets for the theater. Hey. Show this gentleman to his seat. Now get this, folks. I've got a hunch that Ebenezer Laurel was murdered by a relative. So that said relative will come into all his dough. Oh, no, you, you can't do this. I didn't murder him. I wish I did. I hardly knew the old man. <laughs> Sit down and keep quiet. You're all under suspicion of the murder until we find out which one of you pulled the job. Now let that sink in. That'll be all for tonight. The housekeeper will show you to your rooms. And don't any of you try any of that escape stuff because the house is surrounded. Keep your eye on them. Oh, yes, sir. See who that is. And no monkey business. Good man. But is this the home of the late Ebenezer Laurel? Yes, sir.
the nature of your business, sir. Why, this is Mr. Laurel, Esquire, the heir to the Laurel Estate. Very well, gentlemen. Just a minute. What a beautiful home. And what luxury. And to think it's all ours. What do you mean, ours? It's mine. There you are. Just like all the rest of them. Sitting on top of the world and turning down your best pal. Your benefactor. I might have known it. Well. Goodbye, and good luck. Was ever thus. Oliver. Are you really going? So you would turn me out, eh? Well, let me tell you something. Air or no air, I'm not leaving this house. And furthermore, I'm gonna get half of everything that's coming to you. Good evening. Good evening, sir. This is Mr. Laro. Are you sure you're a Laurel? Why, well, sure. Sure? Why, can't you see the family resemblance? Yeah. That happens to be General Grant. Why, of course it's General Grant. His son and I belong to the same alma mater, meaning Delta Phi Delta. Ra, ra, ra. Ra, ra, ra. Sis, boom, ra. Now that that's all settled, would you mind if we had a look at the will? That'll be attended to later when we find out who murdered Ebenezer Lauro. Then there won't be any reading of the will tonight. No, not tonight. Well, goodbye, we'll see you later. Wait a minute. You'll stay right here. Well, you don't think we had anything to do with it, do you? I'm not saying, but I believe that the criminal always returns to the scene of his crime. Trap. Show them to a room. This way, gentlemen. Don't you think you're overstepping your bounds? Good night. Good night.
Why is everything covered? This is the room where the old man was murdered. His body was found in that cupboard. Good night, gentlemen. I hope you have a nice, long sleep. Pardon me. Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. <laughs> <laughs> 